Throughout the 20th century, the Comox Valley grew and developed, and an integral part of that growth, like so much of North America, was centered around the automobile. In the early part of the century, the automobile changed the world and the life of one Comox Valley family, the Burns. What the automobile uh, meant to our family, of course it was our livelihood and uh, the center of, of, uh, of our life. And, uh, and I might say it became very involved. <laughs> we were there hours and hours. My dad was during the hard days. And then during the war time, of course, it was hard to get help and he worked night and day. Lawrence's family story is one of the many stories recorded by the Adult Learning Center as part of a history project funded by the federal government. The project was designed to create an oral history and leave a legacy to the community. By the end of this project, we will have close to 600 volunteer hours to document all these stories, transcribe them, and get them to the boards. I have been very inspired by both the people that I've met and interviewed on this project, as well as the diverse history of the Comox Valley. And I think by being aware of that history, celebrating the elders in our community, their stories, what they've experienced and what they've lived through, I think it's a real way for us to build community for the future. Early in June, the project had an official launch, and now these important stories are available to you in depth from the Comox Museum and Archives. We will be the benefactors because that information now can be preserved for uh, forever. Uh, we can make it easily available for anybody in the community who wants to listen, or uh, the things that there was pictures and panels, uh, that they can uh, view them. And uh, any of the organizations that are doing a heritage type project, those panels would be able to be borrowed. And there are many stories to hear. Some are funny, some are sad, and many are just about the little things in life and how that can change your world. Lawrence tells us of how his father got into the automobile trade, which became his lifelong occupation. We were just leaving the gate of the old homestead where he was born and lived and uh, brought up in his early days. And he said to me, hold it, stop right here, stop right here. So I stopped. I thought we'd run over something. And uh, he said, this, and pointing just ahead of the car that we were in, is the very first spot that I ever smelled gasoline. And uh, he said uh, there was a car parked on the side of the road and we stopped and the horse and buggy got out and he smelled gasoline. And uh, then it turned out this was uh, a car, an automobile or a horseless carriage as they call it. And uh, he said the strange thing is that that smell must have stayed in my nostrils because he made his whole life of uh, working, selling, repairing and doing everything with automobiles. This Adult Learning Centre project has been able to capture a great many stories from the Comox Valley. And remember, these stories are available through the Comox Museum and Archives. In the Comox Valley, for Shaw TV, I'm Mark Hanley.